good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you check out mygreengear.com, jerichogreen.net. Venmo is green for green. Cash app, dollar sign Jericho Green, and the number one. One, one. <laughs> so, I know you guys have heard of this shit because it's everywhere. Fauci wants to flee. Fauci is hanging it up. He's hanging up his syringe. He wants to ride off into the sunset with his crooked ass wife. No, 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 no. Where are you going, you little bastard? You beady-eyed little conniving, fear-mongering, lying bastard. Where are you going? You guys know what you do if you see a bug or something, an insect scurrying away? And it runs underneath something. If you can, you pick it up and you let the light shine on it so you can see it and crush that little fucker. Where do you think you're going, Anthony? I think we know where he's going. I think if the Republicans take back the House and the Senate, they're going to come looking for this little bastard. They have to. If you're investigating the sweet and sour sniffles and what it did to our society in any way, he has to be involved. Because he was the main mouthpiece. That senile, Werther's original sucking ding-dong that we have in there listened to him. And did everything that he told him to do. You remember in the beginning? He had old Popov Pelosi, the vodka vixen, right there in Chinatown. Come, come out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come out here to Chinatown. And do business. It's fine. That's what they told us. It's all right. Don't worry. Fauci too. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You don't need a mask. Mask. Schmask. He said you don't need that shit. Only to come back a little bit while a little while later. Oh yeah, you do need that shit. But you told us we did. Yeah, well, I just said that because. I didn't want everybody to buy him up, and then there wouldn't be any left for the healthcare workers. You mean the same healthcare workers that you threw under the fucking bus when you guys started mandating that fucking poke? For those healthcare workers? So he was lying to us from the jump. Oh, well, now, now you need two masks. You need two masks over your face. You crooked little shit. They had a documentary about him. Oh, Anthony Fauci. They're blowing the mainstream mediocres. We're blowing this dude every night on TV. Our grandpa in chief, his sorry ass administration, were circle, jer circle jerking this fool under the table. And every time they brought his ass in front of the Senate or in front of Congress, he act like, well, well, what do you mean? I didn't do nothing. I was using accurate information. Didn't want to answer their questions, acting like what they were saying was a lie. Oh, two weeks to stop this spread. We should be okay after that. Two weeks to stop this spread. Just go inside for a little while and you'll be able to go back outside. Everything will be fine in two weeks. Two weeks turn into two years. How, how can you be that off? Same with the inflation. Oh, there won't be any inflation. It's transitory. It's temporary. How can you be that off? How can you tell us two weeks and it turns into two years? There are weathermen with a better record than that. Weathermen get that shit wrong all the time. They're never that wrong. Two weeks or 104. That's a lot. That's a big gap, Anthony. But just in time for you to scurry off into the darkness because you don't think we'll see you. And who does his wife work for? Oh, no. No, no, Jericho. No, 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 they wouldn't do that. There's no pillow talk about what's really going on. There's no insider information going on because they are such stand-up individuals that they would never discuss anything about their work at home to each other. Let me tell you something, that's bullshit. Me and my wife talk about everything. 
When I worked at Trader Joe's, I'd come home and talk shit about the dumbasses that I work with. And she was when she was working with special needs kids, she'd come home and tell me about the dumbasses she was working with and their garbage ass parents. Husbands and wives talk about what goes on in their work lives. If anybody tells you anything else, they're lying. Unless one of you is a spy, they're lying. They talk about everything. He's letting her know what's coming up. She's letting him know what's coming up. And why, if you're not trying to, if you're not trying to, if you're not planning to retire under nefarious pretenses, then why wouldn't you finish out Biden's term? Because a president's term is four years, not two and a half. Why are you bailing now? Why don't you stick it out with your boy? You got us into all this shit. Now you want to leave? You left a permanent scar on our country. You shut down our economy, something that has never been done. We fought world wars that didn't stop our economy. We had 9-11 where more than 2,000 people died in one day. That never stopped our economy. It stopped some flights. It gave us this TSA bullshit we have now. How many times have you flown and saw a TSA agent and said, yeah, I feel safe with them watching my back? When's the last time that happened? Most of the TSA agents I've seen look sloppy as shit. They have no uniform regulations, no uniform code. They're unprofessional. But even that didn't stop our economy. Even that didn't have us locked inside our homes. Even that didn't shut down playgrounds and restaurants and businesses that never recovered. Even that didn't have our government paying us to stay home, which gives us a lot of the problems we have now. Supply chain, anyone? You go to get your favorite product, something you've depended on, something you've been getting your whole damn life and the shelf is empty? That's because of the sweet and sour sniffles. It's, they're having a hard time getting people to come back to work. That's what happens when you pay them more to stay home. But now... Now you want to wait until nighttime and slither out of here, you little bastard? I said this on my live stream today, and I mean this shit. If the Republicans get control of the House and the Senate, I want results. I want pelts. I want skins on the wall. Remember that scene from Ace Ventura? We had all the heads, all the taxidermied heads and stuffed animals and shit that he shot. And Ace Ventura said, this is a lovely room of death. That's what I want to see. I want to see these political pelts on the wall. I want payback. I want results. I want punishment. And this little fucker's number one. According to him, we should all be dead of AIDS right now. Remember that? Remember young Anthony Fauci? You little motherfucker. You're going to retire now? You know he's doing some shady shit. You know he's going to go to a country where we can't touch him. Him and his wife are going to be on a white sand beach getting it between their toes, clanking champagne plumes together while we're over here trying to recover from what he did to us. Republicans, don't let us down or we'll remove your fucking ass too. You have midterms too. Anthony Fauci, you little shit. You just gonna run out of here? You gonna act like a teenager and sneak out of your bedroom in the middle of the night to go fuck around? You couldn't write this shit. A room full of Hollywood perverts gun to their head, they couldn't write shit better than this. You destroy this country and ride off into the sunset with your bitch. Let me get in here with my beautiful wife and kids but you know how it goes i try to be done with the left but they just won't let me please subscribe hit that notification bell because every time it rings a piece of shit lefty cries utilize the link tree link get your ass over to jerichogreen.net and mygreengear.com i am jericho green man i'm out